Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Good to have you with me once again. I am your glory lady, Apostle Marie Mosley. I'm your host for today. And again, I come excited, excited because of the guest that I have in the studio here with me today, excited because I know that he is full of revelation, full of the knowledge of God, full of the wisdom, the power, and even the might of the Lord, excited because he is my friend for some 20 years. I've seen his walk. I've heard his talk. I've experienced his stability in God, his long uh, suffering. I've seen him to be consistent, amen, and teach and preach the unadulterated word of God. I'm excited to have him in the studio with me today to introduce him to you. He can tell you about his ministry, which is a hundredfold messianic assemblies of God. He can tell you about what God is doing in his life right now. Welcome with me to the studio today, Apostle J.W. Webster. All right. God, God bless, bless you, you God man bless of God. You, We're right. doing our social distancing. Otherwise, I'd give him a big hug. Amen. But we are trying to adhere to the CDC. Hallelujah. And those of you who are watching, this will be played time and time again. So it all might be over when you see this again. But for now, we are adhering. We're keeping our distance, but not in the spirit. Amen. Right. I know this man by the spirit of God. If I had my way, I could ask him uh, maybe 10 questions and he, we could be here for 10 hours. <laughs> and then we would still need some more time for the yeah. revelation that God gives them. But today I want you to greet the audience. We're, we're uh, Facebook Live and some of you are viewing by other means of, of, uh, of networks. Amen. And I want to ask you to share this because it's going to be really good and to invite others on because when he begins to open his mouth with the revelation that God gives him, he's going to answer some questions today that you've always wondered about. And I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to ask you this thing. I'm going to ask you, uh, uh, can our thoughts uh, be God thoughts. I'm going to ask you, is it possible to be perfect? I'm going to ask you, uh, are people uh, destroyed for a lack of knowledge? And then I'm going to come up in the back rear and ask you, uh, uh, Jesus said, behold, I go to prepare a place for you. I'm going to ask you, where yes. is that place oh, that he's preparing? I'm, gonna, I'm asking you all this in ahead of time because I'm going to let you flow. So I turn it over to you now, Apostle Webster. Greet the people. Tell them what you'd like them to know. And then hit those questions for me. All right. Praise <laughs> God. Shalom, shalom. <laughs> shalom. Shalom, Miss Bacar, which means shalom to the family. Praise God. Apostle Marie, I just want to say quickly that, as you said, we've been knowing each other just about 20 years now. And you, as I always say about you, you are a woman who I've never heard make an excuse. Amen. You've never made an excuse. You've never Amen. given a disclaimer for who you are in the spirit. Amen. A lot of times women give disclaimers. They say, well, you know, men don't think we ought to do this. And you know, you've never done that. You just get up and do what you do. <laughs> you get up and do what you do. Amen. I was on a uh, broadcast once in another city and uh, they asked me, say, do you believe in women preachers? And I said, no. And it got quiet. And I said, but I don't believe in men preachers either. Come on. I believe in Holy Ghost preachers. What I tell y'all. You know, so, so we, don't, we don't have to worry about the gender. Come the on. gospel is not a gender. The gospel is the message. And I've never heard you get up and make an excuse. My you God don't do that. Heaven. You don't My do God. that. Amen. So I appreciate you, and I thank you because of who you are, and I thank you. And I just want to say that you're doing a great work, and I bless you. And Thank I you. pray that God will continue to use you from now until he comes. Thank you, now, Apostle. Thank God. you, Apostle. Everybody that's praise tuned in to HSBN Network and you're tuned in to uh, CWWN Network, amen. You need to know he need to be on a couple more networks, amen, because I'm telling you uh, the wisdom that's about to come out of his mouth. I want you to, to answer this question for me. And I say, you might say, Apostle, why are you asking me a question like that? But I know that you have an answer for it. Can our thoughts be God thoughts, okay. Apostle? Well, first of all, traditionally speaking, we hear a lot of preachers preach, and they say, while they're preaching, they say, our thoughts are not his thoughts, and our ways are not his ways, which is written in Isaiah chapter 55. It started verse 6. It says, seek you the Lord while he may be found, right? Mm -hmm. Call you upon him while he is near. Mm -hmm. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Mm -hmm. And it says, let him return unto the Lord, and the Lord will abundantly pardon him. And he said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord. And then, so, but when you look at the scripture, there, there's a verse in Timothy, 1 Timothy 2.15. 
it says this. It says we should rightly divide the word of truth. Come on now, come on. Rightly divide. The Amen. Greek word is orthotomeo. Okay. Orthotomeo means to make a straight cut. You know the orthodontists do. They make your teeth straight. Ah. Orthotomeo <laughs> means to rightly divide come the word on. of truth so cut it straight. Okay. So when you, there are some things in the scriptures that was true when it was said. Hmm. The scripture said that Solomon was the wisest man ever lived. That ain't true no more, but it was true when it was said. Because Yahshua said, a wiser than Solomon is here. Yeah, Did he say that? Say. So the Woo! scripture said, a Come feast on. is made for laughter. Why make it merry? But money asks all things. That ain't true no more. Because uh, money came by salvation. You salvation better. Come on here. wasn't available when that was written. So when you look at the word, you got to rightly divide the word of truth. Come the Bible now. says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Mm -hmm. For my thoughts, who are you talking to? Wicked. And my ways, who are you talking to? Unrighteous are not your thoughts and ways. Oh my. So we shouldn't pronounce that upon ourselves today. Paul said specifically in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, but we have what? The mind of Christ. You better how preach do you that have, thing. How do you have the mind of Christ, but your thoughts are not God's thoughts? Ooh, I'll never say it again. Y'all, Some of y'all listening to this, you know you said it. You just said it last Sunday and the Sunday before that. My ways are not his ways. His ways are not. You know, I said it myself. But you know what? The logos Right. Amen. And the, right. the Old Testament concealed, right. the New Testament Leave revealed. We need now. the whole Bible, yes. but we got to be able to rightly divide. Yes. Well, what you call that word? Ortho rightly divide. Ortho ah. Ortho 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 I love it. I right. love it. So we can have the mind. Of, we Ooh. do have the mind of Christ. Wee. Look what the Lord said. Carose. When the Lord when the Lord went into the wilderness, the Scripture said in Matthew chapter four and in Luke chapter four also, mm. He went into the wilderness. When He came out, what was the first thing He said? He said, "Repent." Why? For the gospel of what the kingdom. Not the kingdom of God. The gospel of the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Not the kingdom of God. The scripture said in Matthew 6, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. But he said the kingdom of heaven, heaven. is where? At, at where? Hand. Yeah. At hand, <laughs> apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. That's the thing that God showed Moses that he didn't show anybody else. Woo, at hand, that at hand. hand. Right. You know, that hand is, that, that thumb Come is on, the apostle. apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. Woo, now, come on. None of the Old Testament prophets got the revelation of the ecclesia, of the church, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. Moses was like Martin Luther King. He said, I've already been to the mountaintop. Ah, come I on might now. not get there come with you, but now. I've already been there. I've already been there. So he told Moses, I'm going to make my glory pass before you. And he said, but I'm going to cover you in the cleft of the rock. Now, notice this. Here's another thing we say. We say that no man can see God and live. Who told us that? <laughs> Look at Exodus 33. Look at Exodus 33. The scripture said God spoke to Moses how? Mano a mano, face to face as a man speaks to his friend. Mm -hmm. Drop down about 10 verses and God said to Moses, he said, have the people move away for there no man can see my face and live. For where? There. So where you're located is dependent on what you can see. You Your location. Your location defines Woo! your relationship. And I'm so where, where and I'm Moses so. was, 10 verses up, he could see God face to face because <laughs> of his location. But when you get in a different location, you see there. God and you'll die. So he said, I'm going to have my glory pass before you. And he said, I'm going to cover you with what? My hand. I'm going to cover you with my hand. And the Hebrew is akarayad, which means, I'm going I'm to show you my back parts. Akarayad, which means future hand. I like that. I'm Say it again. Akarayad. Akarayad. I'm going to, oh, go now. Ha, All right. I got it. So he said, I'm going to show you the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, pastor, the teacher. I'm going to show it to you. But then he said, he, God went gangster on Moses. He said, I'm going to tell you, but then I got to kill you. Ooh. <laughs> I just like this. I told that you this man is full of revelation. So then after that, Moses died. So he wasn't able to go to the promised land, but he God showed him more than he showed anybody else. Showed him more than he showed anybody else. So now, with that, our thoughts are God's thoughts. They not can be God's thoughts. They are unless you're wicked and unrighteous. Now, if you're wicked and unrighteous, then your thoughts ain't God's thoughts. I am not wicked, neither am I unrighteous. I Why? Right. The Lord said I can have what? Whatsoever I say. People will try to talk you out of your profession. It's not a confession, people. You confess sin. You profess righteousness. Yes, you do. So then people have a, like they, in the morning they have on the refrigerator, I got my confession of faith. That's not a confession of faith. That's a profession of faith. You better explain confession that. Confession unto sin. Confession unto repentance. Profess righteousness. So then I profess out of my mouth everything the Lord said is mine, oh my. including his thoughts and his ways. My so I say, yes, our thoughts are his thoughts and our ways are his ways. <laughs> My answer would be yes.
Oh, Check what are your judge. answers? If you're looking at us on Facebook Live, y'all need to tell somebody to watch this because oh, it's going to get even better. Amen. You need to just tag about 10 people and say, y'all need to get on here. Look, this man is red hair on here with Apostle Mosley, and he is telling some truth. <laughs> Amen. Go. It's important that we understand the logos. Amen. We have to yes. have it to live by. Yes. But the rhema is vital. Yes. And yes. unless yes. you can make that logos become rhema in mm -hmm. your life, bring it to life. Let it breathe. Let it live yes. in you, then you'll be living below the means and means that God intended for us to live. Hallelujah. And what you do is bring it to life, Apostle Webster. You make it a rhema word for now, today. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We ain't ten scriptures up. We right there where we Come supposed on, to be. It. Amen. No, Amen. We don't want to be. So then, is it possible to be perfect, okay. understanding all of this? Okay, now here's the thing. I've seen churches, you ride by, the sign says, no perfect people allowed. Mm -hmm. I understand what they're saying mm -hmm. because, but what we've done is we have to remember that the gospel, the gospel we preach, this gospel didn't start in, in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. This gospel, the Lord wasn't crucified in St. Louis under the, <laughs> under the ark. No, this is an Eastern gospel. Come here, get real close. This is the Eastern gospel. And we got to understand that when the Lord said in Matthew 5, 48, be ye therefore perfect, even as your father in heaven is perfect. That's he wasn't it. speaking Webster's dictionary. Come on. He wasn't talking about something from Google. He's talking about perfect in the realm of the spirit, which is the Greek word teleos, which only means mature. That's what it means. It only means be ye an adult. Be angry, but don't sin. Don't be lose that thought. Don't adult. lose that thought. Don't Come lose that thought. Because I want, I, I, I want to get in on this right, one right here. Right, because right. my favorite scripture, Hallelujah. the one that took me through, was uh -huh. James one. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, 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 count it all joy when, when you, you fall, fall into divers temptation, temptation. knowing this that the trying Dying of your, your faith worketh patience. patience. Yes. Let patience have her perfect, perfect work, work that, that you may be whole and perfect, and entire, entire, lacking nothing. Lacking nothing. So mm, that mm, perfect mm. there is yes. mature. Yes. Go ahead. Grown Go ahead, up, Paul. Grown up. And when the scripture says, let me, let me just touch that. But the scripture it says, count it all what? Joy. joy. When you fall into many temptations. Many. Why would you count it joy to be pressed? Why would you count it joy to be tried? Because joy, Greek word, kara. But notice now, in the Greek, they have root words and they have sub-root words, right? So the Greek word for joy is kara. kara. Guess what it comes from? It comes from the word karis. So joy just means to jump up and down Woo! and be happy. Jump up and down and be happy. Y'all so need to type from, that in. And the word karis, karis, karis spell it. just means joy. It comes from, <laughs> it, so, so kara is joy. Karis is to have grace. But, but the root word. The original the word? word is charisma, which means the anointing. So count it all joy because if you don't resist, you will be anointed. My God is saying God. the more I press, if you don't resist, the more you're going to be blessed. Because God don't just bless us for what we go through, apostle. He bless us for how we yes, go through. Yes, he does. That's why the children Woo! of Israel were in the wilderness for, for 40 years, yes. and they could have been there for three days. But they was there for 40 years. Why? Because they were murmuring and complaining. And didn't know how to go through the didn't know how didn't understand. to go through. Didn't God, understand God said that, that, that whenever, no matter what we go through, mm -hmm. he has promised us that the grace of God will be sufficient That's for us. That's what he said. He, you know, if, if he took you to it, he can take you through come it. His grace now. will be come sufficient. On, it may feel like some days right. that he's gone, forgot you, don't right. know your address, right. don't know where you live, forgot you. But it isn't so. Right. His grace will be sufficient. If you keep breathing, you're going to see the sun the Hallelujah. next day. Hallelujah. If you keep, You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that is phenomenal. So we can... In other words, Hallelujah. it is possible to be perfect. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> but but you got to remember now, we're not talking perfect by American no, standards. No, we're not. We're talking perfect by scripture because what we do is scripture based. Uh -huh. When I say I love you, I'm talking scripture based. Mm -hmm. Anai, whoever ta, I love you. You're my sister. Mm -hmm. Now, if I say Anai, Rukhamata, you should slap me. So oh. I'm not saying that. Okay, okay, don't say that. No, no, okay. no. But I love you scripturally based. Okay. You feel that? I so feel when that. I say I'm perfect, I'm talking Bible. Okay. Because my nature now is the nature of Christ. I don't have the nature of Adam anymore. The deoxyribonucleic yeah, acid said. in my body is based on the blood, the body of Yeshua, the blood of Jesus. Ooh. This is what flows through us now. We don't have the blood of Adam. We have the blood of Christ. Therefore, I say I am perfect like Christ was, which only means mature. People get offended because they're lost in translation. They're lost in translation. That's why they get offended. Oh, my God. Y'all need to type on there. Don't get lost in translation. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to, even in, even in Bible uh, 
colleges and when you study the word and you go to these different Bible schools, mm -hmm. you have to know the scripture. Be Sometimes it takes the scripture before, yeah. the scripture below. Yes, it does. If that don't get yes, it, it, it takes the whole chapter. Yes, it if does. that don't get it, yeah. you read the whole book. The whole book. But on. you got to know the content. You got to right. know, like you just said, what God is talking about, yes. the time, the setting, what it means. Yes. And I can tell Call you. hermeneutics. That's Who, what it's called. What, how, why, <laughs> where, and when. It's called hermeneutics. Hermeneutics. And we all know that. And some people learn that and they miss the spirit part. Right. And hermeneutics without the spirit part won't get you anywhere. Anywhere. Amen. Because uh, uh, the letter killeth. But the spirit. Give it life. life. Come on now. Amen. Hallelujah. And so this is this is phenomenal. Believe it or not, you know I got another question for okay. you. I ain't going to let you get away that what you easy. Got? What you got? So are people destroyed for a lack of knowledge? The Bible says that we are. But what is your interpretation of that? Well, well, people are not destroyed for lack of knowledge. Selah. Okay. Selah. Selah. Now, check this out. Read the Bible. You got to read. You just got done saying it. You got to read the verse before, the verse after. When you read Hosea 6, 4, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Is there a period there? No. So why are you preaching? Don't preach until you see a period. My people are destroyed for <laughs> lack of knowledge. Keep reading what it says. It says, because you have rejected knowledge, I shall reject you. So people are not destroyed because they don't know. They're destroyed because we presented it to them and they rejected it. Whoa! That's what brings destruction. Your rejection of knowledge that brings powerful. destruction. Powerful. That is absolutely powerful. And I know that some of you are looking at us right now and you're saying you, 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 you kind of want to even reject this. Oh, they don't know what... Oh, yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you, because right. God is giving you some some uh, uh, bona fide, if yes. you will, authentic, genuine revelation today. Yes. This yes. is truth unadulterated. On. Amen. And so if you understand things, what you Hallelujah. don't know, uh, uh, they say it won't hurt you. Uh -huh. But what you don't know will kill you, honey. Come I mean, it'll have you walking down the rope. If Come you don't know it's a snake outside your door, you open it, it bites you, you can die. Come so on. the knowledge of truth and what is being revealed even here today is a life changer for you. Right. So I, I, that was so powerful. You don't even need to stay there anymore. I want to ask you this before our time runs out. Okay. 30 minutes is not enough time with you, Apostle Webster. It's just not enough time. I want to ask God. you this right here. Jesus said, behold, I go to prepare a place for you. Where is that place Jesus is going to prepare? We always quote that it's at a funeral right, and we right, quote it in right, different, you know, right. where's that place? Well, the Lord said, uh, I believe St. John 14, let not your heart be troubled. First, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. That's what he said. In my father's house, there are what? Many, Many mansions. mansions. He said, if it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. He said, I ain't jiving you. He said, if it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. Then he said, behold, I go to do what? Prepare, Prepare. a place for you. Think about the mindset of the Lord. When the Lord speaks, he told, like he said in Matthew 17, he said, he said to them, um, this kind go of not forth, but how? But by prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting. He was talking about this kind. The word is genios. There's a generation of people like me that will not go forth except by fasting and praying. This kind. He wasn't talking about casting the devil out. He wasn't talking about doubt and unbelief only. But the word of God is maturated. So he's talking about not just unbelief, not just the demon, but this kind. People of my nature would not go forth except by prayer and fasting. This kind of people. Isaiah said, who shall declare his generation? Who shall declare his nation? Who shall declare his nature? So when he said, behold, I go, he says, I'm stepping out of sonship that you might step into sonship. Ooh. I'm leaving sonship to prepare a space called sonship for you to walk in. My I'm stepping God. out of it so you can step into it. You better come on here. So, 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 so the sons of God at this Hallelujah. point, the earth is travailing yes, and waiting yes, for us. For and Jesus already prepared a place for us. Yes, he did. Yes, oh he did. Oh my gosh! Yes, he, he did. left here and prepared that place yes. for us. Yes. He, oh my God. Are you getting this? I hope Hallelujah. you are getting the revelation of this. I don't think somebody didn't get it. Say it a little bit more. Say it again. All right. So, so what he did. He stepped out of sonship that mm -hmm. we can step into sonship. My Remember God. he said the spirit can't come as long as I'm here? Yeah. You can't be a son as long as I'm here. Yes. The apostles didn't fast. Why? Because I'm here with he them. Said, said, I, I, they they ain't got to fast. He said, y'all calm them. down. I'm here right now. Thank they you. Okay you ain't got to go on fast. If the Lord is in this room right now sitting there looking at us, I ain't got to believe him for a car. 
I just say, give me the keys. He'll just pull the keys off and hand them God to me. Almighty. But listen, 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 because they were like, Jesus, don't leave us. Oh, right, God, don't right. go. He said, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. And don't y'all worry, because when I leave, the power of the Holy Ghost Come is on. coming. And Come I'm on. here with y'all doing one thing, one place. We going all over. I'm yes. got, but all of y'all yes. going to be able to cast out devils, Come speak on. with new tongues, yes. heal the sick, raise yes. the dead. Everybody Hallelujah. is going to be able to do that. Yes, let me man. go. I got to go. Yes. My God. Well, let me ask you this. We only got to. But I want to ask you this, and you're going to say, Pastor, stop playing. Okay. But, I, but I know you got me. Can we live a sin-free life? Uh, yes, we can. Huh? Yes, we can. Are we the inheritant people of Jesus? Did we inherit his role, his grace, his nature? If we did, he said, you can do what I did, and you do more than what I did. That's Ooh. what he said. Ooh. Sin is a choice. Now, here's the, here's the issue. Uh -oh. The issue is we have our mentality of Adam. We have the mentality of our parents. We Most people are living a life that somebody else told them. They're living a life of what True. their daddy told them, what their True. granddaddy, their grandmother, their mm -hmm. mother. They're not living who God has called them to be. They're living who even pastors that walk in emptiness and walk in empty knowledge have formed and shaped people into empty saints. Oh my. So we have to understand that the scripture <laughs> has given us the ability to walk as Christ walked. But here's the problem. First John. John chapter 1. The scripture said in 1 John 1, the scripture says, if you say you have no sin, you're a liar. It didn't say if you have not ever sinned, it said if you have no sin. Well, I have sin with me now. Do you see my physical body? My body is a sin trap. Mm. My body is sinful. Oh, my yeah. body is oh, nothing but a walking mess of sin. Goodness. But guess what? Paul said I keep under my body and I bring it into subjection. I bring it where? Into subjection. So hupo piazzo means to beat your body down to the ground and let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. So I don't have to yield. So hupo piazzo. So I don't have to yield yield to sin. So yes, I can live sin free as long as I stay under my body, as long as I be led by the Spirit of God, as long as I confess Christ on a daily basis, profess him on a daily basis. Yes, I can. We don't, sin is a choice. Sin is a choice. You choose to sin. The scripture oh says you choose, you choose uh, uh, offense. Mm -hmm. You choose to get so mad to where you sin. When you get angry, you don't have to throw stuff and get oh, mad and stuff. You don't have to do that. You right. choose to do that. Mm -hmm. You know you get ready to pick up a glass and throw it. You know before you do it. You know what you're doing. You just don't have the patience, the temperance, the ability, the maturity to stop yourself. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You it's don't a choice. have to do it. It's a choice. It's a choice. Paul said, I count not myself to have apprehended. Mm -hmm. But this one thing this I do. This one thing I do. I press. That's What's the word? Diokos. Press what? Press means I became a trial to my trials. Ooh. I press harder against my trials than they press against me. I press toward the mark. I, I become press. a trial to my trials. I become a trial That means to I'm pressing trials. harder against the devil than the devil pressing against me. Good God If you see the devil, tell him I'm looking for him. <laughs> J.W. Webster, I'm and, and I'm, I'm hanging with your brother. Tell, and, and, and Apostle Marie, the, the we, Lord, looking we looking for you. We, we, looking for we you. ain't scared of you. We Not looking for all. you. Amen. He said, I press toward the mark of, of the, the prize, prize of, of the, the high call calling. Of God in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Amen. And Paul wasn't no joke either. No, he wasn't. So and if he, he had to press, what did you say that you know word what? means? What does it mean? Diocos. Diocos. So if he had to do it, then. We have to do it. Come now, on, Now, notice this now. Paul wrote that in Philippians. Mm -hmm. Two years later, in 2 Timothy, Paul said, I am not ready to be offered. I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith. He and when did. he said, I'm not ready to be offered, what Paul said is, I'm being poured out. Now, my cup runneth Ooh, over. Geez. Paul said, I have arrived, and now I'm ready to go. My God that was two years God. later. So then, after that, they cut his head off. They cut his head off. Uh, uh, they beheaded him because they blamed him for the city burning. You yeah. know the Bible yeah. history of that. Yeah. But yeah. Paul said, I'm ready now. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I fought a good fight. He said, I kept the faith and I finished my course. My, my now here forth is later for me a crown of what? Righteousness. So now not only am I anointed inside, he said, you anoint my head with oil and my cup does what? Overflow. Hello. Now I'm not just anointed inside, I'm anointed outside. The anointing ain't just in me, the anointing is on me. The lady said, if I can just touch the hem Him. of his garment, the kanafa, if I touch the bottom, the kanafa of his garment, I will be healed. And my. she knew that. And she knew the sun it. of the morning shall arise with what healing? Where? In, in his, his wings. wings. That's the bottom of the robe, the kanafa. Wings. And she touched that and she was healed. My God. 
I'm, 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 I'm floored. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but I am overwhelmed Hallelujah. with what I have learned today Hallelujah. just by having him sit here in the studio with me for some 25 minutes. Amen. The knowledge and the insight of the word. Amen. Praise and I'm God. telling you, the Bible declares that you study to show thyself approved. Right. Amen. That we can be a workman who knows how to rightly divide, divide the, the word, word of, of truth. truth. And so many times we understand the word Hallelujah. only to a degree in a measure and right. we are not able to rightly divide it so we don't see it manifesting in our lives mm. we, we begin to say it doesn't work right. um, uh, that's right. not true for me and, right. and and I'm not holy enough right. and, and I Come must be in, and, and all of these excuses mm. that you give yourself when in, in actuality we have not understood how to rightly yeah, divide right the word divide of the truth word. let me say this real quick right now we're in 2020 right mm -hmm. we're in 2020 now, God spoke to me last year and said 2020, and I, I missed something about this. He said 20, got a couple minutes. 20 is a number of redemption, all right, mm -hmm. in the scripture. But 20 and 20 is 40. 40 is testing, patience, waiting, Woo! and quarantine. You're telling me. 40 means quarantine. That's what it stands for. And so now, what, and, and, the, and check this out. The 2020 is a centennial year. You know, this only happens once every 100 years. <laughs> there ain't nobody alive today that was alive in 1919. It's a 100-year thing. This is actually a modern-day jubilee. Whoa. This is actually a modern day jubilee. Don't miss it. Don't miss God. it. Don't miss You're it. You're so worried about being in quarantine. Come and that's on what here. 2020 40 Don't means. Don't miss it. Do not miss your time of jubilee. God is releasing things. He's pouring things out. And check this out. Remember this. Whatever happens in 2020, it's either going to be really, really bad or really, really good. good there God ain't going to be no middle ground in 2020. It is no middle this ground. is centennial. It's going to be really, really bad or really, really good. I concur. And I want to keep my peace. <laughs> I want to stay under the flow. I ain't got time to be mad at nobody. I ain't got time to be arguing with nobody, holding no grudge. You know why? Because I'm not going to miss my jubilee. We're not going to miss our jubilee. Just say a prayer for about one minute. Amen. Look in that camera right Hallelujah. there. Say a prayer for about one minute Hallelujah. to those who have heard us today. Father, we just thank you. And we speak your word. We bless the name of Jesus. Baruch Hashem Yahshua. Ha. We bless the name Did of Jesus right Did now. And Father, we speak now that every person that's watching this broadcast now will be blessed by your grace. Yes. They'll be blessed by your word. Yes. They'll be blessed with healing. Father, we speak financial blessings. Yes, we Lord. speak mental blessings. Yes, we speak the family blessing over everyone Did watching. And Father, we speak that your word is sufficient for everyone watching yes. this broadcast. Father, I pray now that you begin to reveal knowledge to people, that you begin Again, to give them perfect navigation in the yes, realm of God. the spirit. Yes, People who are confused, Father, we yes, loose God. their mind now the and we command Jesus. perfect thoughts. You said that, that yes, we would God. give us thoughts that beyond all understanding mm -hmm. and we thank you for that. We and Father, you, we give your name glory, yes. we give your name honor, yes, and we God. bless you we bless in Jesus' name. mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise Hallelujah. God. We bless you. Yes, Lord. Uh, Yahshua Hamasiah, we Hallelujah. love you. Yes, and we Father. thank you, Apostle J.W. Webster. You know, I'm going to have you possible. back, don't you? Please do. I have to. All right. Amen. Praise Just God. so we can continue this. We're going to do a part two a called continuation. I want right. to say thank you to all of you that have viewed us today. Share this with somebody. Keep sharing it. And come back and see me again on From Glory to Glory. I am your glory lady, Apostle Marie Mosley. And I believe with all of my heart that it is God that will take us from glory to glory, height to height, as you went today from revelation to revelation. Hallelujah. Be blessed until I see you again. God bless you. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.